In this tutorial I will show how to use Revit and the render cloud function where it's possible to simulate daylight as shown on this picture. To use this daylight simulation function you need to be logged in by going up here and sign in. In this case I already signed in. And then I need to create a interior view. I go to view, go to a plan view to go place a camera and I want to create a view from here in this direction so I click on the 3D view and select the camera so I can place a camera inside the model as default it choose an offset from this level of 1750 and that's uh, about the eye level of a person place it in the corner and I'll look in direction of the the window. And then it opens the camera view and if you want to have more inside your camera you can take these control points and drag the window in the in the size you want. Maybe something like like this. In this case I haven't chosen any time on day but if you go to the sun in the bottom menu bar you can go to sun settings and I recommend you to use the still solar study or solar position is based on the location you have specified and the date and the time so if I want to simulate how the daylight is at 12 o'clock then I change the time here and go a couple of steps up so I get at 12 o'clock and typically you will look at the 21st of, of June so I will do that as well changing the date from the first to the second one of June. That is the standard date when looking at daylight and other simulations. And then I also change the ground plane to be level zero. And then I can save the settings and call this summer 12. So I know it's the, the summer month and the time on day is 12 o'clock, for example. And apply and click OK. And when you have done that, you go to the function of render in the cloud and activate this function and here it's described what you should do I will just skip this part and continue then you get this dialog box and here you should choose the 3D view this one I've just created it's called 3D view number 3 and for the output type you select the illuminance that is the daylight simulation and you can specify the image size just in this case I will select medium and start the rendering and this will take a few minutes so if I press continue I can work with the Revit model during the cloud rendering this took approximately three minutes to render so it's quite fast and after rendering it will open web browser and if it doesn't do that then you can uh, use this address and log in with your account and then you will get uh, these kind of images unfortunately at, at this point it is not possible to control the minimum and top value but probably in the future it will be possible to control this I have another view with another time on day so we can see it will change the minimum and top value unfortunately and then you of course can download the image by clicking on this icon here and download image. This was a short tutorial on how to render through Revit by using the render in cloud function.